everybody, welcome to another episode of Fallout for You, starring, well, just me this week. Last week was Solo Seb, this time it is just Cam, and the reason is because, well, last week Seb was on his own because I was off editing a video, not playing Fallout 4, as uh, everyone suspected. I wish I had been, but me and Seb are going to play Fallout 4 together as soon as we can, and we're going to do the whole game basically together. Uh, that way it should be a much better viewing experience for you guys when we play it on this channel so there's that to look forward to but today is the final episode of fallout for you before it becomes fallout 4 okay so this is new vegas again this time it's my turn to take on this kind of new vegas challenge that seb invented last week so um he set himself the goal of trying to survive as long as possible starting from the beginning is pit fury as few deaths as possible only using pit fury's fondness for melee combat and he well he didn't do very well did he but it's now my turn um, I'm not going to start from the beginning, though, because that might be kind of dull for you to watch the same segment. So I'm going to pick up from where Seb left off and basically just cruise off into the wilderness and try not to die. Let's see how that goes. And here we have Pip Fury, where Seb left her in some sort of, well, like fairground, I think. Uh, I, d I did watch his episode and, you know, Seb did. Seb, you did ad admirably, but... It is my turn. I'm going to take over Pip Fury, and I think I'm going to go... Well, let's have a look at the map. Now, where did Seb go? So, we can see Seb pretty much just took a, a due south approach. I, however, I'm more of a dreamer than Seb. I am going to set a marker there and just head directly to it. Uh, oh, <laughs> problem is, there's no HUD, so... Uh, yeah, that's that's about it, right? Uh, little left, little left, this way. I'm going to head due this way and see how I do. Now, Seb, uh, I think he died four times, so I'm basically going to see how far I can get in four or less deaths. Hopefully, it's going to be far. Uh, now, actually, you know what? I'm going to just have a look at the weapons and armor situation Seb has left me. So, um, oh, I've got a whole lot of stuff. Some dirty water. Good. Tobacco, iguana, peppers, junk food. All this is good. All this is putting up my health. Ooh, pork and beans. Pork and beans. Noodles. Fruit. Psycho. Actually, no, let's not have that. Scotch. I think that. I think this is all putting my health up. Stimpaks. Yeah, there we go. Health is up. Oh, yeah. And what about weapons and armor? Um, lightweight leather armor. Looks quite good. Oh, it's, it's got to be lightweight metal armor, right? Yeah. Cowboy hat. Sexy sleepwear. Wait a minute. What's it? Oh, that's that's pretty sexy. Yeah, it's too much, too much, too sexy. Let's go back to the um, the lightweight metal armor. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna head on this way. No, I'm not because of the big wall in the way. It's all right. We'll go around the wall. That's okay. Oh, now I recognize that. See that statue on the hill there, with the two people kind of like shaking hands. Now I remember that from the game. I believe there's some sort of gun shop up there, but you know, I, I did set myself a, a waypoint in which direction? Kind of, kind of left in kind of this direction. So let's go. Let's go this way. See what we find. Now, if you remember, Pip Fury is very much a melee character. So I got this machete here. Um, I didn't actually look at the other melee options and the weapons we've got. So let's let's do that. Dynamite. Does that count as melee? I'm gonna say that throwing things is allowed. Uh, knife. 32 damage knife. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's put that in the left. Oh, wait. On that train, we also have straight razor. Damage A. Oh, it's damage per second, of course. Yeah, I forget that you've got damage per second uh, in New Vegas as opposed... Uh, down there. As opposed to in regular Fallout 3. Oh, throwing spears. What? All right. Put them up there. Rifles, no. Guns are not allowed. Cleaver... Uh, guns, more guns, not allowed. Binoculars. All right, there we go. That's our weapon options. So, uh, dynamite. Let's have a look at what the dynamite does. Eh. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, machete. Yeah, we know that one. <laughs> more dynamite. Oh, it's a longer fuse, isn't it? Uh, straight razor. It's pretty fast. Pretty stabby. Uh, or more slashy, really. Uh, the knife is also very slashy. Let's continue on. Uh, I think the machete, wherever I left that. Ow! What the heck? Feral ghoul. All right, time to use this knife. Ugh. 
Missed. Yes! And Pip Fury has our first kill of the day. It's a feral ghoul, which I don't know where he came from. Uh, but I've taken his bottle caps and can I, can I take his head? Can I take his head? Ow! No! Another one. Die, feral ghoul. Uh, yes. Another feral ghoul falls to the very bloody blade. Jeez, look at that. It is now just coated in blood. Is there more? I fear. Oh, wait, that was one. Look. Did you see that? Did you see that on the ridge? There was one just. All right, let's hunt it. Let's hunt this ghoul. I feel like I must be in some sort of feral ghoul territory. And yes, that's right. My uh, powers of deduction are amazing. Oh, there, there, there he is. Has he seen me? Ye almost certainly yes. Time for a throwing spear, maybe? Or dynamite. Too slow. Too slow. Crap, crap. <laughs> and let's, let's fetch this guy. Let's go for the... Oh, you can't. Not with melee like this. You can chop, though. Come on. Come on, Pip Fury. Oh, God, I haven't killed it. Now I've killed it. The arm is gone. Man, this place is already very, very dangerous. Oh, I see one. Now, where did I put my throwing spears? That's the thing, because they could be real good. Oh, there's one. Is he coming for me? He might be. Almost certainly. All right, here we go. Two of them. Oh, wait, they're going to fight, I think. Uh, well, let's let's take out this one, if we can. Oh, missed! Missed! How did I miss? How did I miss twice? No! Oh, God. Oh, they're too fast. They're too fast. Three of them. Oh, no. This is probably my first death. Ah, die, 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 die. Oh, oh no. And die, I did. Death number one within literally five minutes. Oh. Turns out dropping a waypoint in the middle of ghoul infested territory. Not my smartest move. Okay, let's try again. This time I'm going to go to the monument on top of the hill. <laughs> Screw the waypoint, I say. It's funny, it's like, it's a strange looking game as New Vegas when you look at it in the light of today. Uh, it's not... Oh, health? I guess. I guess I just got some health. Yeah, I'll do. Um, it's obviously, you know, it's, it's quite an old game now. Um, this does have a texture pack and an EMB, so Seb has done a bunch of things to it. I have disabled a few mods because I had, uh, when I start tried to start playing this, I had quite a few crashy issues. So I've disabled a few things. Um, I'm not sure if I then have disabled the storms that Seb had last week. I may have disabled them, which might actually be a little bit in my favor. Um, but I, what I always really liked about New Vegas was... Um, it just felt very, very different from Fallout 3. There was, there seemed to be so much more, oh, hello. So much more kind of randomness, which I quite liked. Uh, that looks like a guy. Okay, uh, should I engage these people? What do you think? I think yes. Uh, are they fighting? Whoa, whoa, fighting each other. That guy just got gunned down. All right. That's interesting. Tumbleweed. Let's see who they killed. A convict. Interesting. You know what? I'm taking it all. I'm going to nip around the back here. Oh, I think they've seen me. I think they have certainly seen me. And I'm going to dynamite them. Yep. God, the dynamite takes for a long, a long, long time to get ready. Did I, did I get her? Kind of. That's... Uh, I injured her. Hopefully this will kill her. Yes. I think she was the gang leader. Ah! Who's that? Oh, crap. Run. Run behind. Run behind. Run behind. Run behind. Okay, dynamite. TNT. Dynamite! Yes! Ha! Ah, <laughs> that worked! Yay, dynamite! Alright. Uh, is that everybody? 
Jackal gang leader. I take your coffee mug, gang leader. And that means I own your gang. And do we go inside? Well, <laughs> the, um, the sign on the door. Oh, I'm no expert, but I believe that is French for enter. All right, let's be sneaky with dynamite. Oh, God. Oh, God. Enemies, enemies, enemies. Run. Run. Boom. Did that work? How did that work? Ha! <laughs> Amazing. Turns out running into a room, dropping a stick of dynamite, legging it to the corner is actually a really great way to uh, murder your enemies. Let's see if we do any better in here. Uh, ow. Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing. That's just me. Yay, there we go. Wait, why is the toilet locked? Ah, that is why. Supplies. What about this one? No, this toilet is unlocked. And it's because that's empty. Now, I hear noises. Ah, little critters. All right. Dynamite. Well, you survived. How did you survive? What about, what about you guys? You, you live? How are you all still alive? All right, fine. I have dynamite. Close. My goodness. That's right. Pip Fury splats you with her punches. Oh, yes, I forgot Seb put a lot of damage into fists. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Now, who is this? Nice glasses, matey. And now I'm over encumbered. Uh, let us chuck this adventurer gear. Oh, I'll just do some repairing. Yeah, I always forget that that's the way you do things in a New Vegas and Fallout 3. Repair yourself out of uh, out of any issues you have of over encumberment. Oh, look at all these pistols I have. There we go. Ooh, a lead pipe. 50 damage. No, 18 damage, sorry, but 42 damage per second. I am absolutely going to use this. Let's, uh... Guns? Psh, no. Lead pipe. Uh, which is having some texture issues, but they seem to have resolved. No, no, they're still, they're still there. Well, so far pretty successful, apart from the, you know, initial deaths to the, uh, the, the ghouls. I did just murder a whole house of people who I assume were a gang. Um, so that means they were bad. So really I've done a public service by running into a room, dropping dynamite, and then running away. Bats tell me there's scorpions. Scorpions hate dynamite. Where are you? There he is. Oh, God, there's two of them. Now, they're also, thankfully, quite slow. Boom. Boom goes a dynamite. Didn't do much, though, did it? Let's try... <laughs> binoculars? No. Let's try my new lead pipe. Uh, yeah, that worked. No! No, it didn't work! I died. Well, I clearly forgot to do some healing. This time, I'm sure we're going to make it to the statue. Oh, wait, wait. You know what we completely forgot to do? We completely forgot to put on the authority glasses. All right, let's have a look at Pip Fury with authority glasses. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I feel like I feel like this, this is the Pip Fury that we need. Look at that. Where are you, scorpions? There you are. Well, not my best throw. But also not my worst. That was my worst. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's go for the old, uh, the old machete. Uh, uh, uh. Die! Yes, done. Not this time, scorpions. Yes. Uh, there we go. Dead. Oh god, the ghouls are back. All right, I'm ready for this time. I'm ready for you this time. Die, ghoul. Ugh. Yes. Much better. Now, what I'm really looking forward to Fallout 4 is to see how they, what they do with vats. Because, you know, like as you can see in New Vegas, and it was the same in 3, when you have a melee weapon like this, you, your vat options are, well, limited. You, got, you just hit the body. So I'm really hoping they're going to add 
a much more uh, just a much more useful vault system. So sorry, a much more useful VAT system. So it you know sometimes it makes sense to uh, to target different parts of the body because I always felt like in New Vegas and in Fallout Three it was like headshot or go home. There's just no there's just no point in doing anything else. Um, so I, I'd like to see you know it easier maybe to hit legs and because headshots are hard. Headshots should be really really hard. Uh, uh huh. That's cool. All right. Yes, I was right. This is exactly what I remembered. It's the Mojave Outpost. Hello. Hey there. Okay, Brahmin. Pack Brahmin. You, trader. Hey there. Need anything? Ah, yes. Now, sure. let's do what some selling because we have a lot of stuff that we do not need. An old cowboy hat. Biker goggles. Yeah, I'll have some biker goggles. And some reinforced leather armor. Okay, what has he got in terms of weapons? No, no, no. Don't care about any of this. Disappointing. Disappointing. Never mind. Uh, let's go back and sell more stuff. All right, let's have a look at... Ah, uh, there we go. Now Pip Fury is looking really dangerous. So far, am I at two deaths or three deaths? Ghouls and Scorpion. Two deaths. Yes, two deaths. So we're not doing too badly. So I wonder... Like, I'm really curious to see what the weather and effects and everything will be in in uh, Fallout 4 because we've got various mods on here which are definitely adding oddities like that. Which certainly looks really cool. Oh, ants. Ants, die. Die, ants. Yes. Nipton Road Pit Stop. Okay. Uh, looks pretty... Oh, box of mines? It is a box of mines. Awesome. Oh, crap. Gang members. I can't see. Cannot see. Oh, I think I got two of them. Uh, let's circle back around. Ow, ow, crap. Run, 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 run. Avoid bullets. Hide. Okay. Okay. Dynamite. Oh, God. Where the hell's my dynamite gone? Uh, items. Uh, weapons. Okay, so... Oh, I've only got long fuse left. Crap. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Run. Run. Ugh. Where's my health? It's alright. It's alright. Bludgeon. 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 Alright, you're bludgeoned. You. Bludgeoning. Yes. And we leveled up. Alright. Melee weapons. <laughs> yeah. What more could you need? Where are these other bodies? Oh, this one kind of detonated. Oh, Jesus. That is just very grim. Kind of detonated when I killed him. Well, there's mine now. Are they shooting at you? No. Where are they? Did you see that? That ah. crazy bitch just attacked me out of nowhere. Oh. Not for long. I met her on the road a few days. Well, we'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly... Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out. <laughs> I love that. I want your necklace, so I'm going to try and convince you that they're bad luck. Lucky for me, me and hand them over. What? Over here. Yeah! Pip Fury! Gets this sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. Is the weather is like reflecting Pip Fury's behavior? She really does embody the uh, the spirit of Kevin Van Nord. I feel. I mean, she's she's hardcore. She takes no prisoners. Aha! Uh -huh. What have we here? Nipton, jackpot now. Nipton. Uh, is this a place of friends or enemies? I think friends. Think friends. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! 
What? But everything's on fire. Uh, this guy's crazy. No. Do we kill him? I think we maybe kill him. Hold up, Oliver. No lottery for you, pal. I guess we've won the lottery. So, did he set this place ablaze? I... Oh, God. Someone's been crucified there. That's not good. Oh, oh, I see. I see bad guy. Oh, no. Not necessarily bad guys. Let's put the weapons away. Oh, these are Legion guys. Yes. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here. No. Does Pip Fury believe that she can kill all these people? They have just murdered an entire town, so maybe we should save. And... Crash, of course. Such is the life of a muddy game. Well, it appears that trying to save it is what, uh... What destroyed everything for me, but never mind. Uh, not far, though. Who are you? Oh, it's Thomas again! I have to go and chop you up, sir. No, oh, poor Thomas. Oh no! My necklace! Oh, Thomas. Pip Fury knows all about your sarsaparilla necklace, and it's now mine! Don't worry. Uh, your crimes are unforgivable. As a you pay for that! Die, friends! <laughs> Die! Urgh. Go. Chop! Dead. And the next one. Man, Pit Fury is hardcore. Another death. No, sorry, doggy. Oh, okay. Uh, health points doing okay. Oh, that wasn't good. Sorry, dog. Three left, three left. Yes! Two left. Okay. Uh, uh, final guy. Final guy. Ugh. And Pip Fury is now hated. She had explorer armor. Take. And a wolfy helmet. And that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. The Ripper. Huzzah! Amazing. Uh, oh man, our leather armor is much better than that as well. But let's have a look at the Ripper. It's pretty gruesome. Well, there we have it, Pip Fury. I think she did very well. Uh, I, I think I did better than Seb. I feel like maybe by turning off some of the mods, it was maybe a bit easier. I don't know, only only two two deaths and one, one fatal mod crash. So not too bad. I feel like Pip Fury, we've discovered, she now has the weapon that she was born to wield, the Ripper. And uh, we need to get her some glasses in, uh, in Fallout 4. So this is what I think me and Seb need to create in Fallout 4, this Pip Fury. Well, I think Pip Fury is definitely ready for Fallout 4. Uh, a good massacre of bad people is always a way. Like, I think that's going to be... Whereas Kevin had no morals whatsoever, I kind of hope that Pip Fury is going to have some, but she's just really furious about it. And maybe she'll just use it as a reason to kill a bunch of people. But I kind of want her to go with the badass, but maybe slightly moral approach. We'll see. I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not Pip Fury. We'll have to see how she, how she develops in Fallout 4. I'm just... Really excited to do that. That'll be next episode. But for now, I'm going to finish with some questions and comments from Seb's episode. So let's see what you guys thought of Seb on his own. How did he do? Well, Mac Marston said Seb for the win. Well done, Seb. Seb for the win with two whole thumbs up. All right. Uh, we also had Lethargic Kitten saying Cam is playing Fallout 4. They got review copies. Just to say, I have not been playing Fallout 4. I haven't played it yet. Hopefully we'll be playing it very soon. Um, oh, and there was a whole uh, whole conversation about that. In fact, uh, we... Oh, yeah, someone said... Uh, so, yeah. Elmer Hani said, yes, we were at Bethesda's UK office eating cake. Actually, we were there filming. Filming something. Can't say any more than that. But we weren't... Didn't actually eat... Oh, no, we did eat one cake. We ate one cake. But we were there filming a thing, which is quite cool. 
Um, anyway, let's let's move on. Uh, Murnair Wazi said, "If there is a renamer mod for Fallout, are you going to rename everybody Jerkins again?" Well, you know what? I'd forgotten about Jerkins. Maybe Jerkins needs to be our sidekick. I think if we get a sidekick, we should name them Jerkins. That'd be really good. Error unknown one said, "You should have named this video Dark Souls New Vegas, given the amount of times Seb died." Uh, yeah, I I agree. I agree. Altitude Zero raises a really good question, in which he says, "Question: Will we ever see uh, choose your own adventure again?" Um, yes, absolutely. Why not? I th I think that was a really fun thing. I think we should do a choose your own adventure with Pip Fury. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, I'll speak to Seb about this. Um, Rail Terrine says, "A Brahmin is a cow with two heads." Does this mean that if you have a new cow, that you are adjusting for inflation? Will you call it two cow? I think that's brilliant yes i think instead of brahmin being the new cow new cow will just be called two cow i'm assuming there's brahmin in fallout 4 there must be two cow is gonna be a thing and a final comment from sundar world who says haha good video looking forward to more keep the comment and subscribe it's totally cringeworthy but in a good way i agree so uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video next time it will be me and seb and next time we will be playing fallout 4 I promise 100% that's what we'll be doing. Please join us for that. Um, we're going to try and do a whole load around the launch of Fallout 4, as many videos as we can. So, um, yeah, absolutely come back. Keep your eye on our channel. We should have videos going up on the day the embargo hits. I'm not sure if I can say when that is or if I even know when that is. But we're going to have a lot of Fallout 4 videos. So if you, that's what you want to see, which I'm hopefully, hopefully it is, that's why you're here, then make sure you keep a good close eye on the Cam and Save YouTube channel and uh, let us know what you think of the videos we put out. So uh, until next time, when we will be playing Fallout 4, thanks for watching.